a whole face of makeup that cost me about a dollar each. Let's face it, makeup is expensive. So being able to find makeup that might be a lot cheaper, but also performs amazing would be a great find. So I decided to buy almost a full face using makeup from Shop Missé. And I specifically bought all the makeup from AOA. So all of this makeup is around a dollar to two dollars. So let's see if there's any amazing winners in this whole entire thing. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is put the hair back. And the reason why I didn't do it before is because I got these, but it's supposed to hold your hair back and not crease it when you're done. So you can use it while you're doing your makeup and still have hair. It's not really holding it that well and still have hair that doesn't look horrible at the end. I feel like I look like a little girl, but we will try it. Maybe I'll put two of them over here because I have a lot of hair. <laughs> Feels like a moisturizer. There's really no smell. I'm kind of surprised by that. You know, sometimes cheap makeup, they add a yucky smell to it. I <laughs> say yucky because I don't like any smell really on my makeup. All right, I chose, and I think I chose very poorly because these look so light. It is the Pro Wear Foundation. Okay, here's another thing that I got, which is kind of fun. They had this. It is a palette, and then it came with this mixer kind of thing so you can mix stuff <coughs> excuse me oh okay that is much darker than i thought it was going to be okay <laughs> it still looks orange let me put the other one next to it and see if it's better oh my word that literally looks orange on me okay let me just put a tiny tiny bit right here Okay, not as orange as I thought it would look. I don't know if I wanna put this all over my face. Let me see how the other one looks. That one looks a little bit less orange. Oh, maybe that one's better. Boy, it really is full coverage. All right, I'm gonna do the other one. I bought a whole pack of Paw Paw Wonder Blender. I've already wet this one down, so let me show you the difference between the two. So it comes like that and once it's wet and then obviously wrung out, it gets a lot bigger. So I have used this already. I actually really like this. It really does look orange, but you know, I don't know, maybe not so bad. Well, it says it's full coverage, but I see a lot of my hyperpigmentation right there. So, okay, the hair has got to go back. I'm gonna use a brush now, the BK Beauty 101 brush, and I'm gonna just put a little bit more in my problem areas where redness is and things like that, and let's see if I can get it to build up. Okay, so it works better with a brush. If you really want full coverage, use the brush. And just soak up a little bit of the extra Actually, this is not looking as bad as I thought it was gonna look. I'm kind of surprised. I really like this thing. Let me see if I were to mix these two and use my little handy dandy tool. And you take it and you mix it. What's nice is you can really mix this well. Oh, actually mixing them is better. Should have done that. The concealer says it's just a liquid concealer in the color sand. Okay, that's all it says. It comes in a tube. And I'll put this on. Oh, I just squirted out. Oh, it's very dark. I'll use it right here because that hyperpigmentation is coming through again. Man, I just have such a hard time with that. It's not going to lighten up my under eye, but it will definitely cover. So there's the difference between the two. Wow, well, it really looks moisturized. I'm not mad about this. Let's see what it does and see how much it creases after it's on my face for a while. All right, it's got a color to it, but it's certainly not a color that's gonna cover things up. Oh boy. All right, we'll see how that, how that does. But I do need to set it. I'm gonna use the pressed powder as a, oh, of course I forgot to open this. Oh my word, everything was shrink wrapped. Wow, lots of powder. 
All right, next thing we're going to do is brow. See how this works. It's very small. I will tell you that. I mean, I'm kind of impressed with how small this is. Definitely going on easy. It's not pulling very red, it's a little red. Let me see about dark brown. I cannot stand red eyebrow because because I have no red in my hair. Okay, that's better. I don't know why soft browns always pull red. On me, at least they do. Wow, so far so good for this. Well, this one's kind of pulling red too. Not a fan of that. I'm actually really surprised. That is a really good formula. Like, really good. I actually, I'm getting used to the color. It's not horrible when I pull away. It's not really happy when I'm close. It, I do see a red tint. But the dark brown is much better than the medium brown. Really? A dollar? Oh man, that's so good. It is definitely creasy, but not as bad as many. I don't know if you can see the concealer creasing. They have two pressed powders. One is a white, so I don't know if that is completely clear. Oh yeah, it turns to clear, but does, they also have one that's a little bit of a color. And let's see if that one, okay, that one does too. I feel more comfortable doing this one than the white one. So maybe if you were really fair skinned, you would like the white one. When you're doing this, it's better not to pull, but to like kind of press and go out. Before it has time to crease again, use your brush. It's a little dark but I'm gonna go ahead and use it because I would use this one for like in my crease, but it's a, glim a glitter and I don't want that in my crease. These two are both shimmers or glitters and this one is, it's more of like a shimmer a little bit. So I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping this would be a little bit lighter. That's not looking very good. <laughs> okay, let's... See if we can work with it with our finger, maybe. Okay, doing a little better. I don't want a lot of color, so we might with go with just that. Okay, it's okay. I need to blend it out, so I'm going to get a blender brush. Okay, I'm not thrilled with it by any stretch. It needs to come up a little bit higher. I did my big mistake I always do, and I have to always be careful to look straight on because my crease is very deep in. So any color doesn't show up unless I get it pretty close to my eyebrow bone or eye eyebrow. Let me see how these two shimmers swatch. Wow, these just do not swatch well. That's the two of them on my finger. That works. But literally, I kept doing it here. I guess it's more of like just a sheen, which I'm not mad about, but I don't know. Let's see how it, I'd rather do the darker one on my lid. So I'm going to try to see if I can get it to go on my lid. Really hardly any payoff. Wow, this is not, this is not going well. This eyeshadow, <laughs> not good at all. Okay, let's try a brush. Well, I would, I'm not sure if I would say it works well. It works better. I would never want to have to work this hard to do my eyeshadow. Mm, no, no, not happy about that. Oh, I forgot about this one. I wonder if this works better. Oh man, I should have done that. Okay, let's try that one instead. Now I'm gonna use my finger. I'll use my pinky finger, a different one. It is literally feels like it's a cream. Is it a cream? Oh boy. Yes, we have some payoff. Wow, I think it's actually a cream. I'm not sure. Okay, she's prettier that way. Okay, that's better. I, I think it might be a cream. <laughs> This is actually very pretty. It's a little better. I couldn't get them identical because they don't blend. Is this a cream? It's, it's so weird because it doesn't seem like a cream. Okay, it doesn't say. it's. Oh, it's a highlighter. I'm an idiot. Okay. 
<laughs> it's supposed to be a highlighter, but you can use a highlighter on your eyes. That's one of the things I was actually going to do. But it, it doesn't say if it's a cream, but it is so soft. So I'm impressed with this. I am not impressed with this. <laughs> Okay, I did not pick up a bronzer. I got this one when Lisa Monique Beauty and I did our collab. This is the one that she did. If you have not seen that, I will link it below. It was very fun to do. I'm looking at myself and realizing I didn't do mascara, so we will get to that just in a second. I always do it right under my chin there because I have extra little package there that needs to be hidden a little bit. <laughs> we don't need to have light to shine on that. So I wanted to try their eyelash curler. It has this thing. Oh, it comes off. Maybe it's just an extra one of these. It's the storage for them. I have never seen this kind of thing. I think it's the storage for the extra rubber piece that goes in here, which is very unique, but I wouldn't want it on there all the time. I don't think it's getting close to my eyelash. I want to just show you the curve is very important. So the curve on each one looks a lot the same. To me it does. So I would think I'd be able to get pretty close. So let me try again. It doesn't feel like it is, but maybe it really is. It's better than the e.l.f. one. I tried the e.l.f. one. I didn't like that. I tried the one from the Dollar, Dollar Tree. That was dreadful. For me it was. I think other people might like it. It really depends, again, on your eye shape. Like I'm sure someone who is Asian would have a harder time because their eye shapes are so different than somebody like me. So I, I don't know. They should have ones that say, it should say good for round. Maybe they do on some. Well, it curled it. I don't think it curled it great. I don't know. I'm going to use this. It's the Colossal from Maybelline. I got this for that collab with Lisa. I actually got the wrong one, but I actually like it. So I don't like how my lashes are curled on this side. It looks like they're too like this instead of like that. Like I want it to be a swoop, not a fold. So I'm kind of feeling weird on that one. Time for some blush. I got two blushes. Oh, I think they're cream. <gasps> they're cream. I love cream blushes. I don't know. I'm going to use this one because that's this is very, very pink. I'm going to use the stippling brush from e.l.f. Favorite brush for cream blush. And I'm going to just dot this. Oh boy. It always gets nerve wracking when you see it that dark. But look, it's going out pretty far. Actually, it's kind of going away. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Okay, let me use my brush. This is so good because the fibers are long in the, on the brush and so it just kind of brushes it along. Like it kind of just, I don't know how to describe it. Okay, I kind of like that. I think I want to get a little bit more at the front. Not too far in, but have it blend into my contour there. It blended pretty well. I mean, not as easy as my Milani, but it definitely blended. I think you actually could do almost all of this without a brush because it actually blends pretty well. Now it also might just go away really fast, but I am going to I am going to set it with powder. What do you guys think? I like this color. Let me see the pink one. Let me see what that one looks like. Oh boy, that one's very pink. Okay, I went a little crazy <laughs> with lip stuff because I just wasn't sure what I wanted. Let's look at the lipsticks first and the colors. They come in this like a bullet tube. A lot, it looks a lot like MAC, the shape of it. Obviously not the color. MACs are all black. Flirt and fling. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like fling. Okay, so flirts on this side, flings on this side. I think I'm gonna go with fling. I think it'll match my blush a little bit better. I only got one lipstick pencil. Oh, but it looks like a good neutral. Oh, it's very creamy. There's the lip liner, obviously the thin line, and there's the lipstick. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> I forgot I have these two. This is a lip crayon. Here's the color of the pencil. Here's the color of the lipstick. That just does not go in any way, shape, or form, people. And the formula doesn't feel so bad. It's relatively creamy. Okay. 
yeah that's not a good that's a no-go i don't not like that color at all it looks kind of i don't know orangey i don't know all right let me use the this now it doesn't even seem like this goes now mm -mm, i don't like this color at all it just i don't know mm -mm, we're, we're no <laughs> We're taking this off. I'm gonna go with my original thought and do the lipstick. And I'm not gonna use the liner because, mm -mm. Oh, it's so much better. Very creamy. I don't know. The color payoff is not all that great. So far, not impressed with their lip products. They do have a lip gloss. This is the Velvet Lips. Oh, this is a this is not a lip gloss. This is a like liquid lipstick. We are striking out on the lips. Well, now that that's off, let me try this color. Let's see if I like this one better. Flirt. Flirt, I like better. It's not very pigmented. It almost feels like it is a balm, like a colored balm, more than a lipstick. The color's okay, but I'm not happy with pretty much any of the things that I bought for lips. That was disappointing. All right, time to take the hair down. Let's see, did it crease it? No, I don't see a indent. My hair is not in very good shape today. Okay, you know what? No, it didn't. Oh, oh, I forgot, totally forgot. Then I wanted to try out this Glow Baby. Oh, I was looking for my glasses. <laughs> this is a liquid highlighter. I like liquid highlighters because I feel like you can control them better. I'm going to try this. Oh boy, it's a lot. So let me just try a tiny, tiny bit. Mm, I don't think I like it kind of just looks greasy. I like to take a liquid one. Let me see how it does there and put it right on the tip of my eyebrow, my bone, eyebrow bone. That's one of my favorite things to do with the Charlotte Tilbury. All right, it's okay. Like it does add a little glimmer, but I wouldn't call it my favorite. Like I wouldn't be like, you have to run out and get this. I mean, come on, it's under a buck. Oh, I forgot I got mascara. You get mascara where you don't want it, take a spoolie and then just gently rub on it and it'll take it off after it dries, it has to dry. Oh, let me try this highlighter on the left side. See if I like it better. Well, it's definitely more payoff. Oh yeah. Oh, so much better, yes. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not showing a line, but it, oh, so much better. So if you're gonna get a highlighter from them, get this one instead. I will link all of these below because that one is, that did really good payoff. What am I the most impressed with? I actually am surprised to say I am most impressed with this foundation. I do think I could do better with the color. I think I'd like to order, which it's a dollar. So. Go and get a bunch of them. So cheap to get a few of them and see which one would work better. But these are, this worked well. If you like a higher coverage and this doesn't feel cakey, it feels moisturized now. Very impressed with the brow pencil. Like, very impressed with this. This, this was a winner. The blush, I really liked this color specifically. I'll try the other one too. But, oh my word, I just think it's such a flattering, flattering color and flattering sheen to it just I really like that and of course with the highlighter over it I like this combination so so pretty this is definitely a winner these things I love them I'm going to be getting these I do love the beaky ones on Amazon so if you're ordering on Amazon a lot the beaky ones are amazing as well just a little bit more expensive but very inexpensive I think I'm gonna stick with my Sephora one, but I don't, I would try it, guys. It was a dollar or two dollars. Try it, see if maybe if you like it. It feels like a good one. Like the one from Dollar Tree does not feel like a good one. This one actually felt like a good one. If you're in need of a pressed powder, I would go ahead and try it. It was okay. 
I don't think it's like game changer, but I was pleased with it. It definitely stopped my creasing on my forehead and around my eyes. At least I think I did. I haven't looked in a few minutes. Yeah, it definitely did. So I'm happy with this. If you wanna see another trying on whole new makeup, I'm gonna link the video I talked about before where I try a look that Lisa Monique Beauty did. I'm gonna put that one right here and I will see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.